Kristen. In preparation for your pelvic ultrasound, we ask that you try to come with a full bladder. Did you get all 32 ounces down? And also drink plenty of water before your exam. Go ahead and lay down on the table for me. The sonographer will bring you back into a private room. They'll put a small amount of gel, water-soluble gel, over your belly. We'll use this imaging wand to look at your internal organs. The reason we ask that you have a full bladder though is because it allows us to see those internal organs better. Awesome job. Once we're completed with the transabdominal portion of the exam, we do ask that you go use the restroom and evacuate your urinary bladder for the second portion of the exam. We will again ask you to lay face up. Go ahead and lay on back. And your feet will oftentimes be in stirrups, similar to what you have when you go see the gynecologist and get a pelvic exam. Only this much is actually going to be inserted. The sonographer will insert a specially designed imaging wand into the vaginal cavity. But if you as the patient prefer, you can also request to place that yourself. Once the probe is inserted, the sonographer will gently move the probe back and forth to get good images of your uterus and ovaries. Right, you can go ahead and sit up. The exam should not be painful. However, most patients do find that the exam is a little bit uncomfortable. The question often comes up whether or not I have to get the transvaginal exam after the transabdominal portion. A lot of patients wonder, well, aren't the images from the transabdominal portion good enough? Actually, the two work hand in hand to provide a more definitive diagnosis. So the transvaginal portion allows us to see with much greater detail than the transabdominal portion does. We oftentimes get the question of when is the best time to get my pelvic ultrasound? Can I get it on my period? Most of the times we ask that you try to do your pelvic ultrasound at the very end of your period or the day after your period has finished but sometimes that's a little hard to plan for. And it's okay to do a pelvic ultrasound really at any point in your cycle.